Say it's already done. Oh, can I hear you, Lakewood? It's already done. Oh, Christ did it for us. Welcome to the finished work program brought to you by Glory of Christ Ministries. finished work we are in the season of resurrection and tonight or oh, today we anticipate and look forward to our family resurrections you know in ecclesiastes the bible says that there is a season and a time for everything and today our families our lives are being transformed and they are resurrecting praise jesus praise him. we're in the season of family resurrection oh, yeah. What do you expect? Oh, I'm expecting to see my family resurrecting, my brothers and sisters accepting Christ, and God prospering us and increasing us in every area. Enjoy the service and God bless you. Ooh. We're in the season of resurrection and today we are specifically resurrecting our families. What has God done in your family and what do you expect Him to resurrect? Yeah. <laughs> Na baida ido e dinda saidi de yokamuri wa bona bona na bakobye baide musavi se no era bona bona bali mukanisa olwa lero batyaime ndi dinti buli chimwe cha ali chifire waife achi ja kuzukira It is amazing it is blazing and the Holy Ghost is already in this place Hey Marvin Hello. welcome to the season of resurrection what do you expect God to resurrect in your family Wow I'm expecting a lot some of my family members are already here are coming and I'm expecting to see them changing accepting Jesus Christ as their personal savior. That is the way to go and the key to salvation. Enjoy the service. God bless you. Mitch, Mitch, yeah. give me a hug. Come here, buddy. Give me a hug, pumpkin. We're in the season of family resurrection. You had a powerful testimony last season. What this time around, what do you expect God to do? Mukama chicho subira kola. Musizo nye no chen subira mukamo kola. First of all, what were families in Gabay Naba Mimbazi Wawenga Siba Lokole? So in this season, in Ziki Dizant will remember a Nagavaleta Muchach in Gasimu Lokole. Ayatulobu Lokozi, a Raba Vewonga, Basanyu Fukubanga, a Chochi to Gatanga Fabana Bakatu. Hallelujah. Enjoy the service. Come on, give it up. <laughs> yes, it is a beautiful Sunday. What do you expect? What do you have to say about the family resurrection season? Nsubira. You know, last time, last time around, people testified. God has been amazing. Families that are not united, Mukama Tula Bienga, Zizao, Abasina Amu, Abakatulichi, Unanga Baloko Kangaba, Obulamu, Wedi Yesu. Katugene to enjoy the service of your Oradelo, and God bless you. But let me tell you something. Ulida. All the people that we blame for the condition of our families and of our lives. <clears throat> they are just vessels. Because they have been, I mean, they are just conduits. Because Who bewitched the family of David? Mbuza. Ani aloga family ya Dawdi. That Tamar, I mean Onan, decides to love his half sister, which is incest. Oman, Onan rapes his half sister. 
Oman adira mwenyina amutusa go gwabuli samanyi raping your sister okumutusa ko gwachiri samanyi which of the balogo really e yaloga family yani ya Daudi now who be which david's family amen amen and after that tata after that olufanyo malwecho absolom absolom kills onan again onan ya mutta this is the family of david eno bakinyumba ya daudi family from the tribe of judah ava mutika cha yuda from the nation of israel munsi ya israeli a nation under god e gwanga elifugirwa katonda mwene Are you with me church? Are you with me people? You have fought one another so much. You have blamed your your step sisters, your step aunties, your whatever. Please, you have blamed one another and the blaming will keep on on and on until Christ comes back. Onenyeza gundi nonenya gundi atoku nenya kulote kugenda kugwa opaka Kristo lwalida. I'm telling you families since creation have been going through hard moments. Kamba bulira amazima. Family okuva kukutondebwa kwensi zibadde ziwalangana. How about Isaac's family? Kamboze. Checha tukamakaga Isaac. These are twins, twins. Bano balongo. Jacob and Esau. Esau ne Jacob. But they end up they end up mortal enemies. Ne batabuko kufuka balabe ba munne. Hallelujah. Amen. I mean, we can go on and on and on. Families are under attack by Satan. All the way from the beginning even up to now. Whether in the US, whether in the UK, or in Uganda. Come on church. And people in Uganda start to think outside the box. Who bewitched the family of Hillary Clinton? That he went for Lewinsky. You know what, let me tell you something. Our enemy doesn't know boundaries. Doesn't know hierarchies. Go to the king. Go to the king. Inside the kingdom, you will find it there. Go to the state house. state house. You will find a lot. But, but the only thing is they are not spoken out. Let me tell you Why does the enemy want to destroy families now this is the secret the secret is divide the people and you can rule them good divide them scatter them and you can rule them secondly divide them scatter them and they will be weak whenever people are scattered whenever people are in disunity that is when they are vulnerable Psalms 133 Let's read that Psalms. So may you. I think it, it, it must be the Psalm. Amen. Why does Satan attack our families? Now the answer, listen to me very good. Listen to me very good. The answer lies here. How good and pleasant it is when brothers, families, 
people related by, bra, by, by blood live together Listen to what the Bible says. How good and pleasant when brothers people related by blood by family by faith live together. When they live together, it is good. It is good. It is good. But the enemy of our good is the devil. He doesn't want you to be good. He wants you to suffer. He fights everything good. He'll fight people being together. He will fight people prospering. He will fight people who are of the same mind. And he will divide them by using words and he will use people. Listen to me people. When Satan comes to divide you, he doesn't come himself. He uses a body. A body of your cousin. A body of your aunt. A body of a certain preacher. Who, who doesn't know the word or a false prophet he will use a body of a witch doctor and when you go to him and he will say he will tell you yes I can see now this one has attacked you now, this is your real brother now, no which doctor will ever tell you that it's the devil attacking you from Tanzania? It will always relate to the people who are close to you. Now, I'm, I mean, look, look here. The, the problem with people in Uganda, they don't want truth. Not that they don't want truth. They just want lie. And when you tell them lies, they shout. If I begin to tell you that it's your cousin who is bewitching you, this is bewitching you, you will see people flocking here. Yes, yes, my pastor, yes. It's true, yes, yes. Do you know why? Because the devil hates unity. It is good people to be together. It is good people to love one another. It is good when family members are in unity. Why? Verse 2. It's like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on the Aaron's Beard down upon the collar of his robes. Now, I, I will explain to you what, what does the, the, the Aaron, 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 Aaron was the high priest. And God anointed him to break curses over the children of Israel. Now, the Bible says when people are together, that anointing. The power of God which breaks everything is on their lives. That anointing to create. The anointing to make miracles. The anointing to make things that are unbelievable is on their lives. Then number three 
It is as if the dew of Hermon were falling on Mount Zion. For there the Lord bestows his blessing, even life more. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now look here. Uliza. How pleasing and good when brothers are together. And he gives two reasons. Number one, it's it's likened the anointing that was flowing on Aaron's beard. The anointing to break to break forth to break even the anointing to create secondly it's as if the dew of Hammon were falling on Mount Zion now Mount Zion is arid is, is, is an arid place uh-huh. now Mount Hammon is a fertile ground. It has a dew that falls on it. And makes everything to grow. So this man is saying, when brothers are together, there is power to create. Secondly, because of their unity, there is the energy that brings forth everything in them well, to fruition. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we need one another in our families. But the enemy tells you, you don't need your friends, you don't need your brothers, you don't need your family. But when we come together, we have different gifts, different abilities, different uh, um, uh, 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 gifts and talents. And each one complements the other. Amen. Amen. You take a good look at families that are in unity. You will see blessing there. You will see prosperity there. You will see oneness there. And each time you look at them, it's as if they are happy. Amen. They are like happy. Because whatever attacks them, they defeat it internally. They encourage one another. They comfort one another. And they help one another. And they teach one another. As a result, everybody prospers in whatever he does. Not jealousy. No anger. No dispute. No fighting. No whatsoever. No accusation. Such kind of families. They rule. They lead. They inhale the earth. Oh, come on, give God a mighty hand clap. Say with me. Say, Lord Jesus, use me to unify my family. I come against spiritual forces. I come against demonic forces. Yes, go ahead and say, I come against curses in my family to go. Curses go. Poverty go. Sicknesses go. Losses go. Yes, put up those hands. Put up those hands. And say, in the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, come in our family. Yes, put up those hands and say, Holy Spirit, come in our house. Come in our family. We are tired of we are tired of poverty. Tired of sickness. 
tired, tired of chaos. We refuse it. We refuse it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Set your neighbor three things to do. Number one. Get rid of your idols. Get rid of idols. What I mean, abandon witchcraft. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm speaking to sensible people. Get rid of foreign gods. Do not mix Jehovah God Almighty with the demonic whatsoever. That doesn't mix. Let God be God. But this is my advice to you. If there is anyone here practicing witchcraft and you think that's where your help will come from, that is a wrong target. Because it's like jumping from flying pan to stove. Jumping from flying pan to the cooker itself. You know what? If you start to worship Satan, he is the mortal enemy of your soul. He will destroy you and destroy your children, even their children's children. Amen. Amen. So what do you do? When you go back home, if you have anything, you bring it to me. If you are afraid to bring it, you call us. We will give you a, a, telephone, a telephone number. Call us. We will come and take them. And burn it. Amen. Amen. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to you. Amen. Amen. When we are in Christ, we are likened to a man who is sitting on an elephant. When the fox come, or a leopard come, and sees a huge bull elephant, and makes a sound, the whole group of animals will run away. And for you, you'll be, you be just riding on an elephant. And then you'll be able to say, look what I have done to the animals. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! When we are in Christ Jesus, no demon, no powers of the enemy can come near you. Hallelujah. Amen. Before I was in Christ, demons tortured me. And sometimes they could come at night and I wake up and I could literally see the demons. And they would do all kinds of torture on my life. But glory be to God. One day, the grace that saves people also reached to me and I received Jesus as Lord. Before, I used to stay in discos and drink and, and smoke and try to take drugs. People did not know why I was doing that. But I was doing that to escape the torture at night. And they would come and but glory be to God. When I received this grace. And I received Jesus. I came to know who I am. It is me now. 
torturing the demons. I torture them. I torture them. Now I also torture them. I release sometimes I release fire. And it burns. I come against them and I say, leave and they leave. So number two. So first of all, get rid of witchcraft. It will not help you. It will destroy you. Even your children. In your children's children. At the, at the end of it all. The lake of fire which is hell. You don't want to go there. Secondly. Be born again. Lokoka. John chapter 3 verse 3. Yokana satu satu. John 3 verse 3. Yokana esule yok satu onyiro lok satu. John chapter 3 and verse 3. In reply, Jesus declared, I tell you the truth, no one can see the kingdom. No one can see the kingdom of God unless he's born again. Yesu na mudamu na mugamba anti, dala dala nkugamba anti, now the kingdom of God sometimes we think in heaven. Eh? Mm. Oh, the kingdom of God to, to go in heaven. Then why did he say when you pray, pray in this manner. Our father who art in heaven, let your kingdom come. The kingdom of God is within you. It is of power, man, peace, righteousness, in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. So when the kingdom of God comes, there will be peace. No more nightmares. No more curses. No more witchcraft. Nobody can bewitch you. There can be no divination against you. Because the kingdom of God has come. How do I receive the kingdom of God? I receive it. And once I receive the kingdom. And I have wisdom. To know how to bring together people. To bring together my family. How to deal with my wife and the wife. With the husband. With the children. With the relatives and so on and so forth. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 3. First Timothy chapter 2 verse 3. Then lastly. First Timothy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, let's read together. Let's read together here on the screen. At the, at the count of three we read. Huh? Mm. One, two, three, go. This is good and pleases God our Savior. Verse 4. Who wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. You've got a mighty hand clap. Hallelujah. Amen. Lastly. Sembae. Pray. Saba. So number one, what do you what are you going to do? Get rid of witchcraft. Get rid of idolatry. idolatry. Number two. I said. What did I say? Be born again. And uh, number three. Let there be number four. Number three, let there be peace amongst you. Amongst you. Let them tell one another. Create peace in your family. Create peace in your family. Don't create havoc. Don't, don't speak things that will, that will fuel hatred in your families. Don't speak things that will fuel hatred in your families. Don't, don't, don't be a rumor monger. Don't backbite. 
Don't, don't mad sling. Sometimes be quiet. Keep quiet to some things that you think they will ruin your family. Shut up. Be silent. That is that, that is wisdom. Church. That is wisdom. Be silent. When you don't know what to say. Be silent when you think what I'm about to say may ruin people's peace. Be silent if you think what I'm about to say may bring divorce. Be silent if you think what I'm going to say may tarnish that person's name. Amen. 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 You know, when we, when we keep quiet, we will look wise. When we keep quiet, we put out the flames of fire. When we keep quiet, we tame the tongue which is a destructive force on the body of a human being. Ladies and gentlemen, be silent. So right now, let's hear from Mr. and Mr. and Mrs. Insubuga. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. It's been a season of family resurrection. Service ever day. Chachimu kama chakoze mumakaga mwe. Mkama kola vikuru nyo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it's a season of family resurrection. Mukama Ainabi Azukiza Mumakago, Mufamilio Mumikwano Jo. Don't you forget. Stay tuned on LTV for the finished work program every Saturday at 10 30 p.m. and a repeat on Monday at 3 p.m. We love you. And don't forget to follow us on our social media platforms WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, and the numbers on your screen. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in to the finished work program. Feel free to join us every Sunday at Glory of Christ Church, located in Kasubi Kawala. Come, let's worship together, praise together, enjoy his presence together, and hear more of this life-changing word every day, every hour, every night. For more information, please contact the numbers on your screen and contact our social media. We look forward to hear from you. And don't forget to tune in next time, same time, same day.